Finally, during the darkest days of the coronavirus pandemic, it was hard at times to keep a handle on the usual joys of everyday life. But for photographers around the world, lockdown presented an opportunity as much as a challenge. Well, now the Queen guitarist, Brian May, has collated the best of them in a book and exhibition with an added dimension. All the photos are in 3D. These are the instruments of stereoscopy, a Victorian form of photography making a bit of a comeback, largely thanks to a man better known for his music. I suppose I started about 60 years ago when I got the bug for uh, stereoscopy and I got it from a Weetabix packet because they used to put a little card in the Weetabix packet and you send away for the view and you put it in and suddenly you see these pictures instead of two little flat things it becomes a whole world that you could walk into and I was just stunned. And that 10-year-old's passion never faded. Brian May has rarely been without his 3D camera, even when touring the globe with Queen. So when COVID hit, he asked other fans to share their photos of life under lockdown. You'd think it would be depressing, but it's actually very uplifting because they all found things to, to inspire them and get them through the hard times. From animals to insects, almost every image created with just two simple clicks on a smartphone. So how does it work? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, you can see every detail, every bit of the fur. It's almost like burying your face mm -hmm. in the dog's muff, isn't it? Yeah. That's incredible. This makes my life <laughs> very happy <laughs> in the stereoscopic world, yeah. It's great. I, I love to see people's reactions like you, because you weren't really prepared for it, were no, you? No, no, I didn't really think it would be that different, if I'm honest. It is an alternative perspective in more ways than one. We don't stop and uh, smell the roses. We don't stop look around us and, and actually take stock. We don't pay enough attention to the people we're looking at and speaking to. We're always rushing off. And this is a way of, I think, regaining a bit of that kind of personal touch. It's kind of old school, I suppose. A rock legend who'd like us to look more closely at life on the rock we live on. Rachel Younger, News at 10. But the real question is, will Brian May be going to the jungle to picture Matt Hancock in 3D. I'll leave you with that thought. Good night and thanks for watching.